Hello and welcome everybody. We are having a really quick discussion about economy chips. This is going to be a little bit different. This is geared for a very specific audience and I would like to hear everybody's comments below in the comments. Please tell us what you think of this list and give us your own list if you're interested in that sort of thing. Economy chips. I would encourage you to avoid things like these interlocking chips, these very inexpensive economy chips, and maybe even avoid the dice chips. Get something with denominations. So, and once you go move into denominations on economy chips, there's a huge variety. The ones that I'm gonna to recommend to you are ones that I found have consistent quality control. For example, these right here are called Ace Casino. And I'm not really fond of the looks. If you're fond of the looks, you may put this on your list. But for me, I don't like the looks of these. And in my experience, these haven't been consistent with quality control. So the ones I'm gonna recommend are just my personal, is my personal experience, chips I've handled, used, and can recommend to you that I found are pretty consistent. But remember, in the economy section of poker chips, like under $100 for a set of 300 or more, it's hard to find really consistent quality control. So Ace Casino are out. Let's start right into this. Number four on the list are the, I've misplaced them. Oh, here they are. The Las Vegas Casino chips. The reason why they're so low are because is because of the looks. Las Vegas, I feel like, is a little bit overplayed. These look like something you'd buy at Walgreens on the strip with a hole drilled in it and a keychain attached to it. You know what I mean? They just look like kind of a cheap souvenir, but they do a great job being a poker chip. Everybody understands the bling, the Las Vegas, the bright colors, the denomination right here, easy to read, no dollar sign, no euro sign. This is a very reasonable chip at being a poker chip, okay? Solid number four right there. Number three lurking in the shadows here, we have the Monte Carlo. Now, some of you may rate this first, and I can totally understand that. This is a lovely chip. It loses a little bit because the durability of this holographic, this beautiful holographic ring on the label. It's just a sticker label. And that holographic ring is a little sensitive to scratching, you know, a little durability issues. But I found that the quality control on these is pretty consistent. Not consistently perfect, but pretty consistently average. So I like these chips. They're okay. I wouldn't mind playing with these. They're fine. Inexpensive, you can get a set of 300 for under $100 here in the United States. And that's what this is. We're looking at stock poker chips here in the United States. Number two. Now, I'm kind of cheating here. Number two, any chip made by Claysmith with a metal insert. The reason why I say that is because they make some lovely China clays called the Milanos. But a set of 300 of those are going to run you more than $100 for a set of 300 so uh, choose one that you like. It's kind of pick your flavor. It's like going into an ice cream shop, right? Well, do I want this flavor or do I want this flavor? Do you want the desert heat or do you want the mint? These are my two personal favorite, the mint and desert heat. Two lovely sets. I have a full set of 300 poker nights. They do the job, but I don't like the colors as much as I like these. So go if you type in Claysmith poker chips, you can go see the Claysmith website and you can look at their flavors of ice cream. And finally, the number one recommended, and there are a few reasons for that, are the Next Gen Pro Classic. Look in the link, look for links in the description below on where to purchase these. All of these chips. Now, one of the reasons why I like this, these chips, are because of the weight. For those of you familiar with Las Vegas casinos, and I'm speaking specifically from my personal experience in Las Vegas casinos, I understand in other parts of the world it might be different. An average casino chip is going to weigh roughly, here I have one right here, it's going to weigh roughly in the 9 to 10 gram zone, right? Okay, so here's a lovely Win chip from the Win Resort in Las Vegas, okay? And you can look at the weight on this, and it's right around 9, 10 grams, and these are right around 8, 9 grams. So the metal insert chips that weigh 11 and a half grams or... 14 grams and say casino weight that's not true for the las vegas strip granted other places they may have chips that weigh that much so for me in my personal experience in las vegas i just like the chips that weigh in the you know roughly 9 to 10 grams in that range so that's why i love these there's no metal insert the quality control on the edges is lovely they have nice square edges they stand on end they just feel so good so the feeling 
of these chips is what gets them that high rating because there's no sharp edges, no flashing around the edges like some of the other chips, no metal insert to throw off the weight, and they look okay. They look like a poker chip. So for this price, I find it hard to do better than these next gen pro classics. That's just my top four. Does your top four differ? Hopefully it does. Leave a comment below. Chips that I really like. Now there are some discontinued ones that I'm not gonna mention in this video. I wanted to make this as simple as possible. Please support us on Patreon. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby. Thank you so much for watching.